Hi everyone, hope you're all well. Um, welcome back to PB Talks. We have PB London Talks um, ahead of PB London where some of our speakers joined us and gave a bit of an insight to what they'd be speaking about on the live stages at PB London. And now we've got PB North coming up in September. So we're doing it again with PB North Talks. And our first talk today is going to be Andrew Hansford, who will be speaking on the skin and advanced uh, treatment stage at PB North in September. Um, so Andrew should be joining me shortly um, and today we're going to be talking a bit about um, active ingredients and what they are, how you can use them in your clinic and your treatments and which clients need which actives. So hopefully Andrew will be joining us in just a second and if you haven't already make sure you, oh, sorry, make sure you register uh, for PB North. It is free to come along to Manchester Central on the 25th and 26th of September and um, we're really excited to be back in Manchester after I think two years since our last North show um, so yeah we can't wait to be back up there and Andrew should be joining us shortly um, I'll just give him a minute we'll try and get him um, Andrew Hans. So I've just invited him to join. And yeah, we've got a great lineup coming up for you at um, PB North. So Andrew will be talking at one o'clock on uh, Sunday the 25th about understanding the truth behind active ingredients and how they can be used in both treatment and home care. We've got a great program uh, for North. We've got three stages as well. We've got the business and digital skills stage, skin and advanced treatments, and also trends and techniques. So there's going to be something for everyone there. And of course, we've got some incredible brands coming as well. Um, hopefully, Andrew should be able to join in a second. I'm not sure if he's having technical difficulties. Um, but hopefully, in a second, he should be able to join us. Um, but yeah, so 25th and 26th of September, we will be back at Manchester Central. And we're looking forward to seeing you all there. Oh, Andrew has just requested to join, I think. And he should be with us in a second. Hopefully he should be. Hi, Andrew. Hello. How are you? I'm all right. I was having technical difficulties. Oh, I guess correctly. <laughs> oh. Do I have to turn the phone round? Yeah, you're, you are sideways. <laughs> Oh God, now I'm going to have to hold the phone. I, God, I hate all this. Right. How are you? <laughs> I'm okay, how are you? Yeah, I'm really good, thank you. Um, we're so excited to have you um, speaking again at our show, and we're so excited to be heading back up to the north as well. Um, so you're no. talking about um, active ingredients at the show, and we're just going to do mm -hmm. an intro today. So um, if you could just start by explaining what exactly are active ingredients. Um, I think that's the, the problem a lot of people um, have issue with. So active ingredients says what it does on the team, active. Um, so we know what they are, like the retinols, the vitamin A's, the vitamin C's, etc. cetera. Um, so that's what I'm going to be targeting on, what the actual true blue actives actually are and how they work in the skin system. Mm -hmm. And... Um, are actives suitable for all skin types or are there some actives which are only suitable for certain skin concerns? Again, that's a difficult one. <laughs> I'm not being very helpful. Um, yes and no on that one. It's all based on diagnostics on that situation. You know, you've got a, a myriad of vitamin A's out there of which some are suitable for some people, some aren't. Again, that's something I'll discuss. Vitamin C as well. I think vitamin C is probably suitable for most people. Yeah. Um, but there are certain situations where it isn't. Um, and are things like vitamin B, um, and the biggest of all of them, SPF, which people don't consider an active, but I absolutely do. Um, so, yeah, that's hopefully what I'm going to get across at the webinars. It's kind of a little bit more understanding of how you would prescribe these particular actives for 
particular conditions, but also um, clients, age groups, et cetera, because that's relevant too. Mm -hmm. And um, for therapists using actors in their treatments, what sort of things should they be cautious about? Overdoing it. Mm -hmm. um, too much of a good thing is not necessarily good. You know, a little goes a long way and all of that. Um, the ones you need to be really um, more concerned about is the retinols, really, more than anything else, because obviously that can make the skin quite um, inflammatory or, you know, cause issues at certain times. But then again, it, that's based on what the retinol is. Mm -hmm. There's a lot out there that won't do anything, and there's a lot out there that will. Yeah. And... Um... Can you give us a bit of an insight into what sort of things you'll be covering during your talk at the show? Yeah, so I, um, I think there's, I believe, 11. Um, so I'm going through each of the particular most talked about active ingredients as standalone, um, but also as they can be used in combination. And of course, some people or some product lines have multi within their serums or their boosters, et cetera, and how they can be used in clinic. Because it, and it's also, um, I really want to get the point across that nowadays, especially, we're, it's a 50-50 relationship between us and the client. So we do our job in clinic, they've got to do their job at home. And you need to make sure that you that they're doing their job and supporting and maintaining what we do in clinic. Yeah, and um, just a fun one, what, what's your favorite acting why? I think, my favorite is vitamin C. Yeah. Um, it does so many things. You know, people use it more for like the glowy, sexy, stunning skin, but you know, the terizinos inhibitors that, you know, the, 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 you know, the environmental damage it can protect from. Um, I think it's, I, it's, it's kind of my favorite, yeah. Yeah. And what are you most looking forward to at PB North? Um, being in Manchester, love Manchester. And I, of course I love the venue now, very happy about that. <laughs> Um, we can all meet in the Midland Hotel uh, like we used to. So that's exciting. Yeah, I mean, Manchester show is always fun. You know, I love the North and it's a, it's a, it's a great show. Yeah, we're really looking forward to being back there. So um, if you want to come along to Professional Beauty North, it is on the 25th and 26th of September at Manchester Central and you can register for your free ticket by visiting Professional Beauty Got uk and from there you can see our full program of stages and seminar and you can get yourself a ticket to andrew's talk which is on sunday at 1 p.m as well as all the other talks we've got going on across the two days and yeah really looking forward to seeing you there and everyone there. me too me too i can't wait i'm really excited so am i have you planned what you're wearing yet or obviously <laughs> right, always in advance <laughs> Your head is the usual black probably yeah great can't wait to see it thank you everyone for joining us today and thank you andrew for all the time taking to join us and can't wait to attend your talk at manchester oh God. my pleasure honestly it's brilliant i can't wait to see you we'll have a drink in the bar yeah definitely thank <laughs> you everyone. make sure you register now bye yeah make sure all right take care bye 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 bye, -bye.